What's up guys? Today we have a pretty cool update. It's a new room in the construction. So the new room is called the Nexus Portal Nexus. So it takes level 72 construction and there's a few cool things in that room. We're going to go over and build them. So the first thing you're going to want to get if you are going to max this room out is you come over here to this museum and you speak to the curator and you're going to need 100 cosmic runes, 250 rubies and 500 fire runes. And if you have that, he will give you some sort of a signet or something or medallion. Yes, exchange my runes. And there we go. We got the medallion. So once you have the medallion, everything else is tradable. Uh, this is the supplies you're going to need to make everything in the room. Besides the cash, of course, it's just there. We're going to go see how much cash you actually need. So let's head over to my house. And I actually did um, grab one other thing from the bank, the Xerix Talisman. I didn't have that before, so... Um, you also need that as well. So currently I have a bunch of these rooms right here. Uh, each room cost, I think all the, each one of these portals is about one mil. So there's one mil, two mil, three mil, and then the scrying pool is a little over a mil. So something like 4.5 mil to fill out one of these rooms. And I currently have uh, one, two, three, four, five. And so we're probably going to be deleting all of those after we build this room because what this room does is it actually... Uh, basically functions as all of these rooms, um, all of the portal rooms I have put into one. So let's go ahead and build it, see how much the coin price is to build it. Uh, level 72 right there, portal nexus, 200k to build the room, let's go build. And it's actually a pretty cool structure, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good and um, so also I didn't get the supplies for the curtains or the rug so I guess this isn't the supplies for everything it's pretty close so it's the supplies for all the expensive stuff um, so we're gonna build the amulet space first so you can build a mounted Xerix talisman or a mounted dig side pendant uh, they give you infinite teleports uh, of all the teleports that these things have so I'm gonna go ahead and build a Xerix talisman so that required a Xerix talisman one gold leaf one mahogany plank and 5,000 lizard lizardman fangs um, here is the menu, so you can teleport to any of these locations, uh, assuming that you have them all unlocked. There's a few here that you have to unlock. Then for the configuration option, um, this configures what the left click is. So if I wanted to make uh, honor the left click, then I can just left click it and it will take me to uh, honor, which I think is uh, raids one. Yep. So there we go. Then there is a second option, or I mean a second spot, so you can build both of them. So there's my Xerix Talisman, and let's go with the Dickside Pendant this time. So you need one Mahogany Plank, one Gold Leaf, and one Curator's Medallion, which we went over how to get at the beginning. And this is the same thing as the Xerix Talisman. There's a Configuration option, and I will put this at Fossil Island. And there we go. So I'll build these two later on. Let's go ahead and build this Nexus. So build... So for the first level, you need four marble block, and that requires level 72. So let's go ahead and build that, and there it is. It's very cool, I think probably the coolest looking thing in the house. So you got three options on it, upgrade, configuration, and teleport menu. So let's go to the teleport menu. Um, you can put teleports into this box here, and then when you hit save, it will ask for a room cost to save them. The cost is 1,000 times the regular teleport price. So if I went like this with Varrock, Varrock's in there. Um, do I want it as a left click? Uh, if you want it as a left click, check that box. If not, uncheck it. Uh, you can pick which spot you want it to go to, assuming that you have both unlocked. And the first level of the Portal Nexus can only do four teleports max. So when you're done picking which teleports you want, you do save and close. And there is the room cost, confirm. And that should be my uh, left click. Then configuration brings up this menu. So this is the menu we just went over. Uh, teleport menu. So this is actually what it brings up once you have a teleport. You can do scry or teleport mode. Which is actually pretty cool. I didn't realize that they were going to have scrying on here. That's one thing I was kind of worried about deleting my other rooms. Because I wanted to have the ability to scry still. But it looks like that's still there. So that's all good. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. So I guess I need four marble block and two gold leaf level 82 construction for the for the second level. And by the way, here is the cost for the supplies. 
So just about 16 mil right now. I already used some of the supplies though. Uh, yesterday I price checked everything and it was closer to about 18 mil to build um, every or to build the portal next nexus to the highest level and then to build these two things and to fill it with every single teleport. So let's go ahead and upgrade to a gilded portal nexus. Oh, look at that, that looks sweet. Whoever did the art on this actually did really well. Uh, that is very cool looking. And so for the second level, let's see how many you can do. Uh, configuration, so you can do eight teleports with the second level. And let's upgrade to the highest. So upgrade to the final, uh, level 92 construction for the highest, two magic stones, two gold leaves. And it looks pretty similar to the second level, but very cool looking. Let's go to configuration and put every single teleport in. Okay, so that should be everything. Um, and hopefully I have all the supplies I need. I calced it earlier on yesterday, so should be everything. Let's go save and close. There's the supply cost. And do we have enough? We have enough. There we go. So teleport menu. And I should have every single teleport. Awesome. Okay, guys, you ready for this? I have max cash with me or just about max cash. And we are going to check the scry mode. So let's hope that there is no bug with the scry mode. Let's hope it um, works correctly. Uh, so teleport menu, uh, scry mode, scry mode, and let's go to Anna Carl. So we are up at 50 wilderness or 40 something wilderness with uh, max cash right now, but it doesn't seem like there's any bugs or anything. So no one should be able to attack me. In scrying mode, it basically allows you to uh, look at the location without actually like being there. And there's always this bug when I exit out of this, it's going to kick me out of my house, which is pretty annoying. Uh, let's see if they fix that bug. Nope, they did not fix that bug. And then a few other updates today. Uh, they made it so that when free players open up their uh, skill tab, um, all the member skills are grayed out so that they know which skills are free to play and which skills are members. And then also there is an update to uh, player names. Uh, when players log in without a display name and attempt to search for one that's not available, they will be presented with three available options. Uh, this is to help them find an available name. And then they made it so that you can leave pretty much every random event early if you want to. You Before you had to finish the random event if you went into it. And then finally, Jugex are hosting a PvP championship uh, where they invited some people to go and compete in some PvP fights. That's going to be on the 24th of November. And they've opened up the tournament worlds, so you can practice there up until they close them, which will probably be pretty close or a little bit after the PvP tournament. And the cool thing about these tournament worlds is you can set your stats to anything you want. Uh, then you have this chest right here where you can get uh, pretty much almost any armor that you would want in a PvP fight. If you want to test out an Infernal Cape, you can just grab one just like that. Uh, you have pretty much every other weapon that in there. There's some Dragon Claws, uh, let's grab an Elder Maul, uh, Din's Bulwark, uh, whatever you want, Rapier. Um, so yeah, you can head into the, oh, they even have the PvP armors now which have not made their way into uh, old school yet. Those have only been in the dead man um, worlds. So yeah, tons of stuff to test in this world if you want to try it out. These worlds are limited time, so make sure you get into this world quick if you want to try it out. And to get into one of these worlds, uh, you just go over here to the world hopper and there will be a world that has a tournament um, type next to it. And they are colored blue instead of um, silver or gold. So those are the tournament worlds. So that's it for today's updates. Uh, hope you guys enjoy and see you in the next video.